All right, YouTubers. We're going to see if we can lash these together real quick. Um, I've watched several videos. I haven't done this since, God, maybe I was a kid. So <laughs> that'd be many, many, many years ago. So what I thought we might first do is see if we can come up with like a clove hitch or something that we can secure one end of this down with. Bring that back around. We've got our X right in here. Need a little extra slack. And we'll see if we can't just bring this right up in between that little X. We'll use our little stopper knot as a holder there. Appears to be doing okay. A little extra tag. I think in this one, what we're going to try to do here is just try a simple wrap. And what I want to do is try to keep all three of these even. Get a little bit of tension on there. The one's a little out of place, but that's okay. We'll come around a few times. That's probably good there. Then what I'm going to do is feed it up in between right here where my finger is and make a couple of wraps around that first one. This might be a little easier said than done. Okay, now it appears as though we've got two wraps running around this here. We'll come over to this one. We'll see if we can wrap it around this third one. These limbs are not terribly straight. But I don't see a... Well, we'll know for sure when we go to stand it up. But we'll wrap that around. Again, we're cinching this together. Drawing it nice and tight. A little knot we're hung up on here. Then again, we can just come back through here. Just a few wraps should do it. This is not a long-term process, and frankly, the eventually the these are going to let go anyway. So I think I'll just do that clove hitch again. Put it back through. Loop right up through the X. My fingers are probably in the way, and you can't see that, but. Most everybody knows how to tie a clove hitch. And if not, there's some good instruction out there. Okay. Now, let's see what happens when we stand it up. Kids, that's what she looks like all stood up. Tied together. Again, these are inch and a quarter, inch and a half down at the base saplings that we just took off I'm five foot eleven cut them a little bit taller than I am when they're standing straight up mostly due to some of the splits up here at the top the Y's but um, you know go over a campfire that should work nicely now I'm five foot ten or eleven somewhere in between and about 210 pounds so that's really nice very stable. Good places you can tie off at the top, hang a line down, put it over a fire pit. In fact, I think I'll go put it over my fire pit and we'll see what it looks like. Stay with me. Okay, guys. That's it all up and erected. You can see the top. You can see it's just outside of the, the base. I've got it pulled in pretty tight into the rock. Give you a size comparison here. Again, I'm 5'10", 5'11". So it's, you know, right about my head height up here, which would make putting a nice line over this, hooking through the handle on a billy pot or something, with a toggle, be able to adjust it. In fact, I could probably put notches out here on some of these other pieces and have a different, you know, hang two or three pots over the same fire. So all in all, I think that's worked out pretty slick. Super simple lashing, four or five, well, I guess six times around. And then about two wraps in between each of the of the logs vertically as opposed to perpendicularly and uh god it's solid there's a thousand ways you can tie this knot out here check out on the other youtube channels 
Um, there's a lot of nifty ways to do it, but for quick and easy, down and dirty, you know, you gotta spend a quick night out in the woods, you got five feet of paracord, now you can create something like this. Heck, you could wrap your tarp around it and make a little shelter for yourself. 1,001 applications for a simple erection such as this. All right, guys, thanks, and have a great day.